Hi everyone, today we talk about two of the biggest gaming stocks that are on the stock market right now that actually brought out some big news last week. And um, we had EA that actually went down slightly because of a couple of earnings and then came back up after some news that it released a little bit later on. And we also had Take Two actually that released their earnings as well. The only one kind of missing from this kind of the only one kind of missing from this is Activision, um, but they actually had a bit of a bad week as well overall. Um, but these are three, uh, the two of the big three really of the gaming stocks that are on the stock market right now um, and big news came out about them so I thought I'd talk about them and I know like a couple of viewers that watch these uh, videos on this channel uh, are very much interested into the gaming stocks um, so we'll get into it overall. The big news overall is that we'll start with Take Two. Um, Take Two um, had earnings and their earnings were actually really good. I've looked into their earnings report and they're actually pretty decent overall. Um, they actually beat by a fair chunk, but as many companies have done, uh, Take Two actually lowered the guidance overall for the next year, which is a really common theme in the last kind of two earnings reports. Um, so when we see a lot of soft guidance, you know the stock always goes down, and that's what happens overall. Um, and EA they uh, had a bit of a bad week, and then they actually went up quite a bit because EA uh, we. Uh, launched out a free uh, battle royale, battle royale game, a bit like Fortnite really, um, that was free, um, and it said that the demand was uh, pretty good. Um, it said that it attracted 10 million users in 72 hours, um, which kind of like got everyone to jump in overall. Um, but when when I see when I saw that article, really, I thought, well, it's a free free to play game, and they've had 10 million users join, which is pretty good, but that's not money for EA at the end of the day, you know. When we when we when we see that news overall, you know, it's great they have ten million news on a free game, but it's free, you know. Like that's not bringing any money overall. So I don't understand why it had the biggest jump it has done. I think in like since two thousand and fourteen or something, it what whatever it was. Like it's a little bit like people jumping onto a lot of news there, which I don't think was that amazing overall. Like, it was good, don't get me wrong, like, it deserved a little bit of a stock going up kind of thing because when you look at the add-ons that they could have from that, you know, and if they sell, you know, all the kind of, like, skins and extra sort of stuff that they have for it, you know, that's going to bring revenue in for them. But it wasn't news that made you go, like, yeah, that's absolutely brilliant, you know. It was it was good, but not brilliant. So, um, something just to be a little bit careful of there. I think... It's just one of those where EA certainly is a stock which has been beaten down massively overall and when some actual good news comes out, people just jump in overall. From a reversal point of view, it kind of shows that we've hit there, we've hit a support, a resistance area, which is good. So if you're looking in for the technical traders, they see that reversal now and that's a good sign for EA. So we'll see if it kind of holds that resistance overall. Um, if you look at Take Two, something very similar happened with that. You know, with the soft guidance, that is a stock that's been slammed as much over as well. Um, it's been beaten down, and they hit a resistance point, and they bounced off as well. Uh, people came in and bought up that stock when they saw that discount onto Take Two overall. And to be honest with you guys, you know, I've I've said on this channel, you know, the, the two stocks that don't really interest me too much overall, Take Two and EA. But if you do like that stock, them stocks, if you had interest in that industry overall. You know, these are kind of the prices where you'd be looking to get into now because you've had your big massive discount overall. The P's have come down quite a bit, which I've always said that the P's on EA and Take Two, you know, the training at P's like that should be like uh, growing at like 10, 20% a year, which they're not doing. So they need to come down a little bit, which they have done, which is good. Um, so I think these are definitely two stocks that have been at the biggest buying points for a long time, but they're still slightly overvalued in my opinion overall, guys. Um, but um, if you were to like the stocks, I can see that right now is a good time for you to be buying overall. Um, personally, they're kind of looking, I'm looking at them now, and a few of them have started to interest me a little bit more now because of the discounts that they're on. Um, but to be honest with you, I, I, it's just one of those sectors that, I'm just not really into at the moment. Um, I feel like that kind of, the kind of whole gaming sector is kind of like going through a, a, another cycle now, where we're seeing it kind of transition from um, the games where they're going to more like you know the free to download and selling on the extras rather than paying. Obviously, then you've got to take into consideration that they're not going to be making the money from like the disc disc actual sales of them now, and it'll be more from the download content. But um, yeah. Uh, I think it's in a transition stage and I think that 
overall, we, we're kind of like in the next two years, we, we're doing another generation cycle of uh, consoles as well, which will um, kind of, you know, freshen things up a little bit um, overall. So the kind of whole sector overall is like, in my opinion, a little bit of a cycle right now. And um, they do, the, the stocks are appealing to me a lot more than what they did like a year, two years ago overall. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still kind of like watching from the sidelines overall. So I probably won't take up, take two at all on discount or EA on the discount overall. Um, I, there's probably other stocks that I'd like to get into instead of them. But I am just keeping them watching on the side and like say if anything does change then I'll let you know. But um, interesting news coming out from both of them overall. Some big moves last week from both of these stocks. So I thought I'd make a quick video on it guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for all the support recently. The subscribers, the likes have been amazing. Um, so keep that up and I'll see you on the next video.